there, Miss Doris. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here today. We always love when you're with us. We enjoy hearing from the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. And today you're going to share some more info about how to keep our kids safe and healthy and avoid using alcohol and other drugs. Yes, yes. Thank you uh, again very much for having me today. Uh, we have just enjoyed a lovely spring break with all our little kiddos at home. And we're heading into the final stretch of the school year prior to summer. And we know life can be really hectic during this time with last minute grades trying to be achieved and all sorts of extracurricular activities and sports and, and other types of enrichment programs. Sometimes we get so busy, it's hard to think about having those talks with our kids about how to stay safe and be healthy and how to turn down possible invitations to enjoy to indulge in alcohol and other substances but it is a real big priority that's right miss doris can you give us some ideas on how to best take care of our kids on this subject well, you know, Talk They Hear You is our annual current awareness campaign that encourages parents to have a conversation with their children. In fact, it won't be a one and done deal, as we have talked about in the campaign. You will need to have these conversations with your kids to help them understand at each age they reached. Uh, why alcohol and substances are not the right choice for them. And we know this might seem a bit daunting of a task for a parent. It's just like not one, one of those things you really want to get into and you think maybe I really don't have to. So we have gathered all the information you need and placed it at your fingertips on our website at www.cfbhn.org. There you go. It sounds great. What are some other resources? Well, on our website, there's a lots, lots of resources. The one I really want to focus on is the, um, the quick guide for five conversation goals that you need to focus on when you're having this talk with your child. Number one, you need to show that you disapprove of underage drinking and other drug misuse. And we know that over 80% of our young people ages 10 to 18 say their parents are the leading influence on their decision whether to drink or use other substances. So that's, that's great. Right. great. You news. just got to tell them I'm not with that. <laughs> great news. Number two, show you care about your child's health, wellness, and success. Maybe we think this as a parent, but a lot of times kids just need lots of reinforcement to know that you really are on their side. That's right. Number three, you need to be the best source of information about alcohol and other drugs. You don't want your child learning about alcohol and drugs out there in the other world and on the street from unreliable resources. You need to be the trustworthy source of information that they go to when they have questions. So if you open these talks and they have further questions, you can say, I might not have that answer right now, but I can get that for you. And then you come to our website. Number four, show you're paying attention and you'll discourage risky behaviors. This might also seem like something you normally do, but you need to think about it. Are you really paying attention to what your child is saying and doing? And you can do this in a very subtle way and you don't have to be prying into their private life. You know, they don't like that. <laughs> so number five, we also, not only just telling them about things, we have to give them the skills and the strategies when they are in difficult situations to how to avoid uh, the drinking and the drug use. So even if your child doesn't want to do it, sometimes peer pressure is a very powerful thing. So if you have a plan with them on what they're gonna say and do when this comes up, because you have these conversations, then they will feel more comfortable because they will have something in their skill basket to rely on, to draw upon. It might be something as simple as texting a code word to a family member or practicing how they'll say no thanks. That's just not for me right now. That's right, that's right. So you got to just keep it low key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's don't worry. Just uh, you don't have to get it all together at one time. And you probably will do this on multiple occasions. You'll have multiple short talks. Indeed, indeed. So all wonderful information. Wrap things up for us, Ms. Doris. There's also, as I mentioned, there's other resources on our website, including an opportunity to download and set up your own avatar. So you can practice the talk before you have it with your child. So you really come across as, as in the know and really commanding of the information. 
And I just want all of our listeners, your listeners to know, parents, caregivers, and youth, that we are in it to win it with you. We want to make sure you grow up, all children grow up healthy, happy, and are successful. That's what everybody wants for their children. Absolutely. So so learn how to do that. Come to our website and check out the information. And, And the bottom line is, as we've said through this whole campaign, talk. They hear you. Mm -hmm. They're listening. They want to hear from you. They want to hear from you. That's right. So for any information, again, log on cfbhn.org. As always, thank you, Ms. Doris. Thank you.